Hey guys, it's me Elena. Join me as I unveil this risk-taking doll Nana with mesmerizing Sierra face-up. I was lucky enough to win this doll during an in-person lottery in the heart of Akihabara. We will also feature it in an NHK TV channel video about fascinating doll world in Akiba, featuring the walk store where the lottery happened. Prepare to be captivated by the beauty of this doll. Let's begin! The box is the same one that I received with my one-off Masha doll, as featured in my unboxing video of her. It has a faint yellow pattern that delicately adorns the entirety of the box. At the center of the box there is a frame section that proudly displays the text Super Dolphin. The bottom of the box has a luxurious golden finish. The most distinctive aspect of the wig is the abundance of curls. These curls give the doll's hair a voluminous and playful appearance, adding texture and charm. The straight bangs are neatly cut, framing the doll's face and providing a classic and sophisticated look. The curls are likely designed to retain their shape. However, I think it would be a good idea to handle the wig with care, to ensure the curls stay intact for a longer period. The light brown color of the cup blends harmoniously with the doll's hair tone, making it less visible. The doll's head piece is made of white fabric, adorned with delicate golden stars and dots, adding a touch of elegance and charm. It also holds its shape. This headpiece reminds me of a kokoshnik, which is traditional Russian headdress worn by women and girls. The edges of it are adorned with intricate golden laces, which enhance its regular appearance. The distinctive feature of the headdress lies in its pointy corners, which are decorated with shimmering crystals and metallic elements. These embellishments add a dazzling sparkle to the overall design. To ensure a secure fit on the doll's head, a flexible headband is cleverly sewn inside the fabric foundation. This headband allows the kokoshnik to sit comfortably in place while adding a flexibility for different head sizes. Attached to the same base is beautiful beautiful tool veil that adds an air of mystery and grace to the ensemble. The veil features a rectangular shape which will elegantly drape over the doll's shoulders. Its delicate pattern showcases white flowers. The edges of the veil have additional white laces. With the doll comes the usual set of booklets. It includes a beginner's guide for the time when you first opened your doll. On the back it has a list of walk stores in Japan. Another one is an extensive Super Dolphy guidebook. It contains a lot of useful information about dolls in both Japanese and English. Additionally, walks included a form for ordering any after services for the doll. Or here it is, the white envelope. It has the doll certificate familiar to us from other unboxing. It contains all basic information about the doll. From this certificate, I learned that this doll wig is actually a wig which belongs to a doll named Mimi, and it's a Christmas edition of it. Also, Nana's dress is made by a seamstress with the name Kurofunia. This doll is of a fresh skin color and on SD13 Volk's body. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting your doll journey, come to be a part of our vibrant doll appreciators family. Hit that like button and subscribe now to embark on an extraordinary adventure with me. Let's celebrate the beauty and wonders of dolls together. A gorgeous doll face-up made by the talented artist Sierra is characterized by impeccable brushwork and a dreamlike quality that brings the doll features to life in a visually captivating 
interesting way. Sierra's artistic choices such as the color palette, shading and detailing contribute to creating a surreal and enchanting appearance. The face-up is both bold and dreamy. Eyelids have a mix of red, pink and beige colors. I especially love the way lower lashes are painted like little bundles. Upper lashes have a two layers of brown and black lashes and I love the effect it gives. Brown lashes also help to blend the doll's face up with her brown wig. Her lips have a bit of burgundy color on them and through the gently open mouth doll's teeth are visible. I love her mysterious and ethereal look. Nana has odd eyes which I feel like a rare thing for Volx dolls to have. One of her eyes is yellow and another one is grayish purple. I definitely have a big weakness against dreaming dolls with closed or half closed eyes. Her eyebrows are straight and give a relaxed feeling. Their color perfectly matched the doll's wig. Her whole face is also covered in sparkles. On the back of the head we have a usual metallic plate with one off written on it indicated what kind of a doll it is. Inside the head as always we got a signature by a face-up artist. Sierra's has a little heart next to it, so cute. When I saw her standing in her gorgeous dress in the Akihabara store I could only sigh and think that she looked exactly like the most beautiful princess ever and I can't even dream about having her with me. Well, look at me now. The doll's choker is a stunning accessory made from a white silky ribbon with delicate lace edges. In the front of the choker there is a captivating crystal and metallic decoration element. They are mirroring the design of her hair accessory creating a cohesive and harmonious look. To secure the choker around the doll's neck it features a metallic snap button. Doll's elegant light blue satin dress actually consists of a top part and skirt. It's a mesmerizing garment that exudes grace and enchantment. The top part of the dress beautifully mirrors the crystal decoration found on the choker creating a cohesive and eye-catching ensemble. The crystals catch the light casting a delicate shimmer and adding a touch of glamour to the doll's attire. The front part of the dress is crafted from the same white fabric adorned with golden stars reminiscent of the headpiece she wears. The golden star on the dress add a celestial and magical element to the design, further enhancing its enchanting appeal. The dress is lavishly adorned with golden and white lace decorations, as well as metallic and crystal embellishments. The combination of these intricate details creates a stunning interplay of textures. Among the decorations there is a particularly striking bigger crystal and metallic centerpiece positioned in the middle of the bottom part of the dress. The sleeve of the dress have a slight bell shape. They appear fluffy and voluminous, adding an air of elegance to the doll's ensemble. The sleeves are adorned with delicate ruffles, further enhancing their feminine and playful aesthetic. At the end of the sleeves the dress features the same white fabric as the headpiece embellished with laces and soft gather too. The skirt part of the dress has an asymmetrical design, with the back portion being longer than the front. On the back of the dress there is a striking big bow adorned with golden laces. Attached to the bow is the same tulle fabric used for the veil, cascading down the back of the dress in a long and elegant manner. The length of the tulle allows it to gracefully touch the floor when the doll is standing, adding a sense of grandeur and sophistication to the ensemble. The boy is securely fastened to the dress with a pin. The dress features an interesting and innovative fastening mechanism. Concealed on the front where the blue and white part of the dress connect, there is a five hidden metallic snaps. These snaps provide a seamless and invisible closure, allowing the dress to maintain a smooth and uninterrupted appearance. The skirt of the dress features multiple layers of fabric that creates a sense of volume and depth. Each layer is adorned with white laces of various shapes and patterns. Along the edges of the skirt golden beads are meticulously attached and circling the entire perimeter. To fasten the skirt securely behind the doll there are two metallic snaps. To make the dress more voluminous there is also an underskirt made of a hard tulle fabric. It has two layers of laces and string on the waist area. None 
is wearing sheer white tights, kind of similar to the one my one off doll Masha was wearing. Her underwear is also a simple white one. I really love her little light blue shoes. They are made of faux leather. On the front of the shoes there is a charming V-shaped cut, creating a fashionable design element. This cut adds a visual interest to the shoes. The shoes features a small heel, adding a subtle lift and sophistication to the doll's overall look. The sole of the shoes is light beige, providing a neutral base that complements the light blue color of the shoe upper. The ankle strap is embellished with white flowers. The flowers provide a pop of contrasting color against the light blue shoes, creating a visually pleased aesthetic. To fasten the shoes securely, there is a silver buckle imitation. The buckle is designed with convenience in mind and is easy to manipulate. It features a convenient hook mechanism that allows for quick and hassle-free fastening. Additionally, the sides of the shoes have a slight wavy edge. This wavy edge detail contributes to the overall charm and character of the shoes, making them stand out even more. This unexpected win of a doll with a stunning face-up by famous Sierra was an absolute delight. Opening the box with you and unveiling doll's exquisite features was a moment filled with anticipation and awe. It's truly a privilege to have this doll in my collection, as it represents not only truly work of art, but also a cherished memory of this unexpected win. This doll will undoubtedly be a centerpiece of my collection. Love dolls and kong kong!